Hey, this is René. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm super happy to be able to announce the launch of our MetaTrader 5 masterclass in English. This was requested so often on this channel whenever I did a programming tutorial on um, MetaTrader programming. In the comment sections, there were comments like, can you please cover this topic? Or can you, meet, can you make a video on that? Or can you provide a complete course? And now I'm finally able to say, um, yes, I can provide a complete course for MetaTrader 5 programming. So the MetaTrader 5 uh, Masterclass is a complete course on this topic where you will learn how to write your own scripts, indicators and expert advisors for the MetaTrader 5. And um, it is, yeah, as I said, really it is a complete course. So whenever I do a tutorial on the YouTube channel, for example, it is only a small snippet of the, um, of the programming possibilities that uh, the MetaTrader 5 provides. And this, it is simply um, impossible to make uh, tutorials um, that are so huge that you uh, learn everything or that, that you are um, able to follow it as a beginner, at an, as an advanced or at an, as an expert. So it is hard to, um, to uh, cover everything on YouTube. But um, first of all, let me give you a broad overview over the content. So um, the course is um, designed to provide all the necessary information for absolute beginners. So if you are new to programming, if you do not have any experience with other coding languages, for example, then you will have all the questions in your mind about the absolute basics about programming, I think. So when it comes to variables, um, to um, control structures, to functions, arrays, and stuff like that, these are the complete basics of pretty much every programming language. So it is absolutely important to understand these concepts and to not only watch a video or follow some, some guide, guidelines in the internet, but you really have to understand what is behind these concepts, why are there different variable types and uh, why do you use functions and when do you use it? And these are the questions that are answered in the MetaTrader 5 Masterclass. You will learn the, the concepts of create, creating new systems. And then you can go ahead and take these concepts and these functionalities and copy them for your own systems, for your own ideas. And this is the main purpose for this course. I really want you to become a trader who uses automated programs so he doesn't have to do everything on, its, uh, on his own. So you do not have to sit in front of your PC and trade strategies but you can automate all your strategies and then use your free time to work on new concepts, new strategies, and um, maybe write them in code. So you can really focus on the important things that will make your account grow and not on the things that will yeah, be boring. Like if you, if you trade the same setup for 10 days in a row, it's simply boring, I think. So this is like the purpose of this, of this course. You really have to, you, you, you should really become a programmer for trading strategies who is capable of writing every strategy that comes to his mind. And therefore this course is, as I said, not only limited to the basics, but we will also cover topics like object-oriented programming or the um, uh, order deal and position design of the MetaTrader 5. These are topics that are a little bit more advanced and yeah, then you can go ahead and take these concepts and um, yeah, put them to work in your own programs. And um, currently there is, for example, another program that is written in this course, which is the Range Breakout EA that I already explained on the YouTube channel and where, um, which I currently use in my live trading and which is um, yeah, making profits for the last, I think, three years and that I use it now in live trading. So it is absolutely guaranteed, I think, that you are able to make profit profits with automated trading. And this course is um, not finished, of course. It currently holds uh, several videos, which you can see um, uh, when I present the content. But this course will also be adjusted from time to time. So I um, also want to add uh, more topics to it. Uh, so you also get information on, um, yeah, for example, files on working with different classes that are a part of the um, MQL5 framework and stuff like that, that that will make your life easier or will make your programs even better and more efficient. 
So in this short video, I want to give you a quick overview over the current content in the MetaTrader 5 Masterclass. So once you signed in, you will get an email with your login credentials and a link to the website where you can then log in to um, have access to the, uh, to the content. So let me real quick log in here. So once you're logged in, you will then have access to the um, private member area. And there you will find a, um, a tab um, which says um, MT5 Masterclass English. And there we can click on the content overview. And maybe first of all, let's uh, yeah simply scroll down so you can see a quick snippet of the content which you will find in the um, in the specific uh, video lecture. So. Um, yeah, just feel free to pause the video so you can read all the contents. And once I um, I showed you all the uh, all the lessons, we will then have a look at yeah one or two of these so you can see how it looks and how it feels to yeah have access to the course. So as you can see, there are a lot of topics, and I will explain the main chapters after scrolling to the uh, to the bottom of this page. So this is just an overview over all the videos. Okay, so this is the current state. Uh, there will be, of course, more content in the future because um, I pretty much copied the, um, the, uh, the course which we already um, published in German um, one or maybe more than one year ago, which has, of course, more content. And, um, yeah, I will um, uh, add more, um, more, more topics and um, as, as the time uh, goes on and as more people join this course. So um, in this top menu, you can see there are several chapters here. First of all, we have a short introduction uh, where I introduce myself again in the course and where I... Um, yeah, give you some tips and hints how you can profit um, the most from participating in this course. So some techniques for working on it and yeah, how I would recommend you to um, to work on this course. Then we have the basics, which are the, the important programming basics. These are um, the thing, things that you need in yeah, pretty much every programming language. So it's really important to yeah, make sure that you understand these things and uh, yeah, that you come back to these um, uh, video lessons whenever you have a question or when you yeah, want, want to uh, look something up again. And this is a good um, thing about this online course because you're always able to log in. And even if you write new programs in the future, you will still be able to get back to these basics or to other um, lessons to um, yeah um, to to renew your um, your knowledge pretty much and yeah look up um, some some problems for example that you encounter in your future life as a programmer. Okay, after um, we dealt with all the basics, where we um, yeah write the very first program in the end, which is a script that will close all your open positions. Then we go to the second chapter, which is orders, deals, and positions, because in the MetaTrader Five there is a um, uh, a system which deals with orders, deals, and positions. And it is important to understand the process or the, the life cycle of a position because um, when there's a position in the, um, in the MetaTrader 5, there's an open position, there has always been an order and a deal before. And it is important to understand this because it also impacts the programming part of um, yeah, uh, automated trading strategies in the MetaTrader 5. And afterwards, we have a look at indicators and write um, a donkey and channel indicator. Um, yeah, there we will have a look at the structure, the general structure of um, uh, indicators, and then also have a look at properties and stuff like that, and uh, buffer management, and everything that comes with indicators. So this is a short um, uh, chapter about indicators, where we'll write a Donkey Channel indicator in the end, and um, yeah, you can use this program for your analysis. And afterwards, we will have a look at object-oriented programming. Uh, this is something that was requested um, a lot on the YouTube channel also, that we will learn everything about classes, objects, constructor, destructor, and um, yeah, some general um, uh, 
functionalities of object-oriented programming. And this is important for a little bit more advanced programs or for understanding things like the C-Trade class, which you use in yeah, pretty much every program. And if you are an absolute beginner or if you only want to write your, your code by following, following a tutorial, you do not really need to know everything about object-oriented programming. But if you really want to dig deeper and if you really want to understand what is behind a program, then you absolutely need to understand object-oriented programming because it makes life so much easier, especially when you come to the point that you write a little bit more complex programs where you need a working data structure. After looking at object-oriented programming, we will then write three expert advisors. And this is the absolute focus of this course, it is focused on writing expert advisors, so the programs that will um, open, manage, and close your trades. So first of all, we will use the donkey and channel indicator that we already created in this course and write a donkey and channel EA, which uses the signals from the indicator and then opens and closes positions based on the... Um, uh, yeah, on the signals coming from this indicator. Afterwards, we will have a um, Bollinger Bands EA, which uses an indicator, which is a standard indicator of the MetaTrader 5. And this is the Bollinger Bands um, indicator. Yeah, we will use this expert advisor or write this expert advisor to generate signals from this uh, predefined indicator, the Bollinger Bands indicator. And then we will have a look at things like um, take profit as a calculation. Um, we'll have a, have a look at trailing stops and crash safety filling types. These are these are things that, for example, crash safety and uh, order filling type. You do not really need this for your program to to work properly because if there if there is if there uh, if you never have a crash, your program will work fine. But if you want to have absolute absolutely reliable programs, you have to take care of these things because what happens if your uh, computer shuts down or if the MetaTrader 5 crashes, um, then you want your program to rebuild the, um, its, its current uh, working um, state if you restart the program or the PC. So these things are important. And then we will have a look at filters in this chapter. Afterwards, we will write the last program, which is a little bit bigger, a little bit more complex. And this is the Range Breakout Expert Advisor. I already um, explained the strategy on uh, the YouTube channel, for example. And there, um, this strategy works with um, time breakouts. So, of course, we will have a detailed look at times, at working with times, how you can calculate times and how you can create input variables for your user or for the user of this program, where you can simply input the um, yeah, the, the, the times that he wants to use for this um, strategy. Then we will um, have a look at drawing objects in the, in the chart and how you can calculate ranges and yeah, visualize them in the chart. We will place orders and this time it is not a market order where we uh, um, open a position directly, but this is a stop order where we wait for the uh, for the price to reach the order, which is then executed. We'll also have a look at uh, very variable lot size calculation and at a specific event handler, which is triggered whenever there is a trading operation. Um, yeah, then we will also cover filters, trading stops, or other trading stops um, in this um, chapter. And of course, in the end, we want to clear the chart if the expert advisor is removed, and we, we want to take care of the crash safety for this program. So this is um, yeah, pretty much the current content in the, in the masterclass. You see there's a lot of topics um, yeah, that are really important to programming and especially um, to programming um, of automated trading strategies. We cover the basics and some advanced stuff and in the future there will be even more um, so you can yeah, do everything pretty much that you want or that you have in your mind for a um, strategy that you want to trade. So last but not least, have, let's have a look at some um, uh, specific video lessons in this course. So whenever you click on a video or when you navigate through the videos, you will see, um, yeah, you will pretty much have this page layout where you have the headline, a short introduction, what you can expect in this uh, video lesson. And then you will, of course, have the video. Um, yeah, for example, 
This video is on variable data types where I explain the most important data types and how I um, uh, how I uh, explain how they are stored in the in the PC memory. And this is kind of important to understand why and when you use specific data types. So you can simply click on the video. Let us talk about variable types. And you can navigate you can through the video, the, of course. The same as make it, it is with in um, make it, yeah, f full size, of course. Um, you can use this small player. I would always suggest to use the full size player and to display this video on a second monitor if you have the possibilities. Um, so yeah, you will you will find some information about the video uh, around around the uh, video window and uh, for some uh, topics you will find uh, also find um, some pdf files that you can for example download and print if you want to uh, have them um, for your further um, programs and then you can of course navigate through the videos uh, like this, like using these buttons, or you can simply go back to the content overview and click on the specific lesson that you want to want to look again. So, um, and whenever we write a program in the end, in the very uh, last lecture for this expert advisor, you will um, find a link where you can download the code. Um, I would suggest that you do not use the, uh, use this link because it is always a um, better learning experience if you write the code together with uh, the videos. This is, in my opinion, the only way that you learn um, programming. It is not you. You do not learn learn programming by downloading code and looking at it. You learn programming by coding. So this is it um, for this video. Hope you had a little insight in the um, in the content of the MetaTrader Five Masterclass, and I hope that you have fun and um, that you learned something working on this course. So best of luck and good trades. I'm out. Bye-bye.